Good day guys, it's from Mr. Sebastian here once again. Okay, today I'll be talking about this powerful tool, Eraser tool. Look at the tool here. Look at it. Here. This one that looks like normal, our normal eraser. It looks like it also. So this is a very powerful tool. You can use it in a fading image in, in, in background instead of using shadow. You can use it to create stone paper image. It's a very, very wonderful tool. So I came across it and I, I saw how wonderful it was. So I needed to share it with you guys. Okay, so this wonderful tool I'm about to show you guys is really, 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 really interesting. Let's get going. Guys, you see what I'm talking about. Okay, let's get first to the aspect of using it to to remove uh, to fade background you can also use it to remove images from background but it might not be clear due to some split places and without zooming in but let's okay so this is the eraser tool let me clear you guys on it how to use it this is used to increase the size of how you of your eraser pen look at the pen here you see it let me reduce the size you see it's now smaller so the more bigger it is the more big uh, big the pen is that you can use to erase the more smaller if you reduce it the more the smaller the pen will also be then here after this one this second main look by your left hand it's used to create shapes automatic shapes that you can use to remove images instantaneously let me shoot switch it to this guy you see this one is an irregular shape you can just use it and cover or oh, it's just like a point of a uh, like say a, uh, a point of uh, rotation that is, is a, it's like a point where you just if you touch you can now adjust your angle you just have to touch each point then you can adjust the angle to any type so each each place is that this uh, red faded red something covers is the you can erase with here look at uh, when you get to here you have when you click this irregular place and you cover images you have two buttons moving at the buttons let's move over to this and cover the images you have these three buttons here sorry this dot first one is used to remove images inside this uh, red something images you cover inside this red something then this uh, faded one that didn't have this second one that i have cancelled you see the second one now uh, after these shapes these dotted shapes you have first one you have dot inside this one you have a little is a little bit shaded it's used to remove images outside then this one is used to cancel whatever you did so let me show you guys what i mean okay i'm getting my point and i'm now Increasing the angle, so I've increased it now. Watch, let me use this first one. See what it does, it removes everything that this guy covered. You, you see, then let's go back again. Then let me click it again and cover up. Let me cover only the head. Let me use the second one. You see, it removes only the place that the red this thing did not cover. The whole place the red this thing covered, it left them and removed the places that weren't covered. So this is how it works. You can just go and uh, play with it so that you get used to it. Let's get back. Let me cover again. Then this last one is used to cancel. It won't affect on anything. Then with this idea of this one, you can use this square. You can use the square type. You to automatically remove in square shape. Remove in square shape automatically. Then let's use the first one. The first one removes everything inside. Then this second one, let me bring it back. The second one removes everything outside. You see, I've left with everything inside. Then you can go back. But then if you don't need it, you just remove it. It goes out. Then there are last button for cancel. Then also it's applicable to these second ones. It's just the same idea and concept. Then this plus button, this one is used to go back. It's even in Pezzo Lab, so you can you, you should be familiar with it. Then this plus button is used to zoom in. When you click it. You zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. Then, for you to affect any changes on it again, you have to click the plus button. You click it, it off, so you can now affect on it. But if you don't off it, you still be zooming in and zooming out. Then this okay. If you are done and you think you are okay with what you are doing, then you press okay. 
and everything is set then let's get back let me remove all these things then this one is for you raising let's let's get to the blurring aspect that of the blurring aspect let me get to my eraser again this one is for shapes let me get you have to you have to go to your eraser look left here there's a menu here let's get to the blurring aspect for you to blow sorry not blurring fading aspect for you to fade images in background you have to use this increase this one is used i've told you the effect now so i will have to increase the size so that it's big then you see the second button is used to fade your your eraser so that it will be fading images instead of erasing them very sharp and clean it will be erasing fading them watch i've increased it it's not fading then this last button here is used to increase your pen for you not to make mistakes so that you'll be seeing where your pen is it increases the point where you can use to adjust your pen instead of you touching the pen directly and adjusting it you can just adjust this from here and you still be seeing what you're doing is this last button here okay so that's it then i've blood i've increased faded it with this button this middle one i faded it then watch me okay i see that i i i displaced it too much okay yeah it's okay let me fade after fading i'll press okay you see what you see my outcome you see what i've gotten so this is it this is a tool is a very very wonderful tool it's a very very nice tool you can use it instead of using shadow i had to share shadow on because it's also important so this is a very wonderful tool okay so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe you can share these videos with your friend because they are not only meant for you awesome videos like this your friends can also benefit from it okay so thanks for watching once again and have a nice day